welcome back my dear students in the previous session we have finished chapter number 6 square and square roots today let's learn part 1 of chapter number 7 cube and cube roots chapter number 7 cube and cube roots let us take number 1 One we can write as one into one into one. One into one into one is one to the power three. Now number eight. Number eight we can write as two into two into two. There is two two to the power three. Now twenty-seven. Twenty-seven we can write as three into three into three. There is three to the power three. So here, this power three and this power three and this power three, these are called cubes. So this is one cube, this is two cube, this is three cube. Next is cube roots. Cube roots. The symbol of cube root. We used to write like that. We have to read this as cube roots. So, cube root of number one. There will be this number one. Cube root of this number eight is this number two. And cube root of this number twenty-seven. There is three. This number three. And here, these numbers one, eight, twenty-seven are called perfect cubes. Perfect cubes. Now let us see this table, number and cubes. Number one. Now this is cube. One cube we have to write down like this. One cube means one into one into one. That is one. Next is two cube. Two cube we have to write like that. Two cube means two into two into two. That is eight. Next is three cube. And three cube is three into three into three. That is twenty-seven. Next is four cube. Four cube means four into four into four into four. There is sixty-four. Next is five cube. Five cube is five into five into five. There is one two five. Next is six cube. Six cube is six into six into six. There is two one six. Next is seven cube. Seven cube is seven into seven into seven. There is three four three. Next is eight cube. Eight cube is eight into eight into eight. There is five one two. Now next is nine cube. Nine cube is nine into nine into nine. There is seven to nine. Next is ten cube. Ten cube is ten into ten into ten. There is one thousand. This one a twenty seven sixty four one two five two one six three four three. Five one two seven two nine one thousand. These all are called perfect cubes. Perfect cubes. Suppose uh, here a question comes like this. Is one seven two eight a perfect cube? Here the question is asking that this given number one thousand seven hundred twenty-eight is a perfect cube or not? So to find out this one thousand seven hundred twenty-eight a perfect cube or not, we can solve this like this. Now solution: we have to write down the given number and we are going to find out the factors of this one thousand seven hundred twenty-eight. So let us calculate here. One thousand seven hundred twenty-eight. Since the number is n in eight, uh, so we can divide by two. Twenty-eight 
to 8 times is 16, to 6 times is 12, to 4 times is 8. Again, we can divide by 2, to 4 times is 8, to 3 times is 6, to 2 are 4. Again, let us divide by 2, to 2 are 4, to 1 times is 2, to 6 times is 12. Again, divide by 2, to 1 times is 2, next is 0, to 8 times is 16. Again, divide by 2, to 5 times is 10, to 4 times is 8. Again, divide by 2, to 2 are 4, to 7 are 14. Now, we can divide by 3, 3, 9 times is 27, 3, 3 are 9. So, these are the factors. Let's write these factors here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 3 is 3 times, 3, 3, 3, then uh, we are going to group this factor, triples, then 2 is in triple, now 1, 2, 3, again this 2 is also in triple, and this number 3 also in triple, 1, 2, 3, so since all this prime factor we can group into triples of equal Factor. Uh, now we can say that 1728 is a perfect cube. We can group all the factors of 1728 into triples therefore 1728 is a perfect cube see the uh, 1728 cube prime factor Adu ka petra sing si man na ba prime petra si say the ahum ahum pun ba yari ahum ahum pun ba yaba si koi na triples ko isi adu na ahum ahum pun ba si 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 ahum ahum si pula ka nta petra ama ba bale mo tre adu na one thousand seven hundred twenty eight si perfect cube tare adu ka si gi ka nus petra si kari gumo koi na ahum ahum pun ba yada dana petra si parak Tarak pa tarak di, siki siki pira mi ba number si parpe cube nati hain hai ka da ba adu ka sab sana sai petra si ahum ahum pun ba ya ba tarak di, siki pira mi ba number si parpe cube ni hain hai ka da ba. Yan tarak ko siya. Okay, if if you understand this, now we can start the exercise. So let us start exercise seven point one. Let us start exercise. 7.11, let's study the question, question 1. Which of the following numbers are not perfect cube? How is the question that hangi si makha da piri ba number sing si karam karam ba number si perfect cube na ta bagi hai ba? Roman ba 1 si tau si? 2, 1, 6. Now let's write this Roman ba 1. Solution, we know. We know. Let's write this 216. Now let's find out the factors of 216. 216. 216 is n in 6, so we can divide by 2. So let's divide by 2. 2 1 time is 2, next is 0, 2 8 time is 16. Again divide by 2. 2 5 time is 10, 2 4 time is 8. Again divide by 2. 2 2 are 4, 2 7 are 14. 27 we can divide by 3. 3 9 are 27, 3 3 are 9. Now we are getting. 2 3 times and 3 also 3 times 1 2 3 1 2 3 so let's write the factors 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 sigi is that i ba 2 2 ohm si re 3 ohm si da ida i re on the thing hojin mana ba factor si triple si ko na line sing sang ni so mai na si da line ma si da ida line ma hojin number si le ma ud re Aduna 216 si parfait cube tare. All the prime factors of 216 
can be group into triples therefore 216 this number is a perfect cube aduna 216 is perfect cube ta re kai gi no kan da 216 ki prime factor sing si akoi na when ahum ahum group chem ba kan da number le mongre adu itar di 216 is perfect cube ta re si gi si yar ni ko khanga ni ko adu di mathanga mu question to ge now let's try roman number 2 Roman Roman number two is also same. Now solution. We know. Let's write this one to eight, and let's find out the prime factor of one to eight. One to eight. This number is n in eight, so we can divide by two. Two six times is twelve. Two four times is eight. Divide by two. Two three are six. Two two are four. Divide by two. Sixteen. Divide by two. Eight. Divide by two, four, divide by two, two. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two is seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let's group into uh, triple of equal factors. These are triple one, two, three. One, two, three. This also triple. Now two is left out. So since we cannot group into triple of equal factor this one to eight is not a perfect cube when we try to group into triples of equal prime Factors. This two is left out. Two is left out. Therefore, one to eight is not a perfect cube. Perfect cube. Not here. In here, ni. Yar kosi si gan gan tariko. Uh, do the numbers extends out of Roman number five is okay. Next is Roman number five. Four, six, six, five, six. Now, solution. This question is also the same. We know. Let's write the given number four, six, six, five, six. Let us find out the prime factors of four, six, six. Five six. Four six. Six five six. Let us find out the factors of four six six five six. Uh, this number is n in six, so we can divide by two. So divide by two. Two two are four. Two three are six. Two three are six. Two two are four. Two eight times is sixteen. Again divide by two. 2 1 times, 2 1 times, 2 6 times, 2 6 times, 2 4 times. Again, divide by 2, 2 5 times is 10, 2 8 times is 16, 2 3 are 6, 2 are 4. Again, divide by 2, 2 2 are 4, 2 9 times is 18, 2 1 times is 2, 2 6 times is 12. Again, let us divide by 2, 2 1 times is 2, 2 4 times is 8, 2 5 times is 10, 2 8 times is 16. Again, divide by 2, 2 7 is 14 to 2 are 4 to 9 times is 18 now uh, this number is n in 9 so we cannot divide by uh, 2 now let's divide by 3 3 to our 6 3 4 are 12 3 3 are 9 now divide by 3 3 8 times is 24 3 1 times is 3 again divide by 3 3 to our 6 7 8 3 7 are 21 again divide by 3 9 times again divide by 3 3 times here finding the factors are over so 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 also 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 
four, five, six. These are the factors. Now let's group into triples of equal factors. So these two are triple, one, two, three, triple, one, two, three, triple, one, two, three, triple. Now uh, all the factors we can group into triples of equal prime factors. So this number is a perfect cube. All the prime factors of four six six five six can be grouped into triples therefore four six six five six is a Perfect cube. which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. See, see, how you try to see. Question number two, ki, Roman number one, see, and see, solution. How you? Question number two, ki, Roman number one, the high, see, 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 number 243, see, Hi, buddy. See, give 243. The quite big pick. Multiply to the number. See, see, put how. Aduga. See, multiply to the matung the tariba number do perfect cube the haloi. Perfect cube. Ado itadi hujik 243. See, give see prime number number see the multiply to the number C kya taaga the kya to hujik put hoshi. We know Roman number one. The koi no hot cube duga high pet money. 243 is in the Let's find out the factors of 243. 243. Uh, 243 is divide over the the Three two are six, three seven are twenty one. Three namuyare, three nine are twenty seven. Three namuyare, three three are nine. Sida the magi pector putopo loire. Sida magi pector the tariba three si gasuke yangasi. One, two, three, four, five. Three si mangasure. Three into three into three into three into three. Nasai Roman number one the toki batang prime pector sing zoom manaba kangani aduka. Kantong ahum ahum do pun gani. So one two three na sumai na line sing eh. Hausik si gilem hori si one two katang ngai dah hai three shudre. Adi tadi ngai saya two four three dah hausik multiply tau kata ba kuai di pun number si three tar ni. Si gitu two four three dah three na multiply tau kata kadi si gi like say like three into three set si the three aman multiply tau kata di three si hausik ahum sure. Adi tadi perfect cube tar ni. Aduna sigi two hundred forty three da multiply to whatever quite the pick per number two sigi three zetarni. The prime pector three does not appear. In a group of three, to make this number two hundred forty three 
a perfect cube we need one more tree therefore the require smallest number by which Two hundred and forty three should be multiply to make a perfect cube is sixty three setani three. Here this question is over. See, Yarni ko bhab Yarni ko si se. Roman number two and three are same, so let's skip now. Let's try this Roman number four, six hundred and seventy-five. Six hundred and seventy-five. Now solution. This question is also same as Roman number one. We know. First, we have to find out the prime factor of 675. Let us calculate its prime factor. 675. If we add together 6 plus 7 plus 5 is 18. So 18 we can divide by 3. So let's divide by 3. 3 to R6, 3 to R6, 3, 5 times is 15. Again, let us divide by 3. 3, 7 are 21, 3, 5 is 15. Next, again, divide by 3. 3 to R6, 3, 5 is 15. Now, let us divide by 5. 5, 5 are 25. Now, we are getting 3 into 3 into 3, then 5 into 5. Let us write this factor here. 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. Let's group into triple of equal factor. Now three are grouping and this five cannot group into triple. The prime factor five does not appear in a group of three to make this number six seven five a perfect cube we need one more here there are two five so we need one more five therefore the require the require smallest number by which six seven five should be multiply multiply to make a perfect cube is this number five so five is the answer the lawyer I could see I do the I know I can give a question sing to you the Try it all. Now let's try this question number three. Find the smallest number by which each of the following 
number must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. Uh, this question is almost same as question number two. In question number two, this is multiply. In question number three, this is divided. Others are same. So let's try this Roman number one. Here the question says that to this given number 81 by what smallest number we have to divide that to make it a perfect cube. Now let's try this. Question number three Roman number one solution. We know this question is also almost same as question number two. Here the given number is 81. Let's find out the prime factor of 81. 81 let's divide by 3. 3 to time is 6, 7, 8. 3, 7 times is 21. Again divide by 3. 3, 9 times is 27. 3 into 3 is 9. Now uh, 3 is 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's write the factors here. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. We are grouping into 3. Now this 3 is left out. The prime factor 3 does not appear in a group of 3 to make 81 a perfect cube we need to divide it by this tree therefore the require smallest number by which 81 should be divided divided to make it a perfect cube is this number 3 and this tree is the answer. Bhav Taiko si se gyan Taiko. Question number three. Gisi makha gi roma number two, three, four, five si maan na re adu na time shape to na pa two, three, four, five si no yum da try ta ro adu ga hai ta pa yaro ka ti google mid class ta ay na mu ta ke. Next question number four ta si. Question number four si par ke. Pariksit max a cuboid of Plasticine of side 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. How many such cuboid will he need to form a cube? Let's study the question. Pariksit max a cuboid of plasticine of sides 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. How many such cuboids will he need to form a cube? Now let's try to understand this question. To understand this question first, we need to understand what is cuboid and what is cube. This is a cuboid. In cuboid, this is length, this is breadth, and this is it. In cuboid, length, breadth, height are different, and it uh, in cube, uh, length and breadth and height are equal. If length, breadth, height are equal, then the shape will be like this and this is called cube so in this question it says that there is a cube point of sides 5 cm to cm 5 cm this 5 cm is length 2 cm is breadth and 5 cm is height 
So let us suppose that the given Q point is this. Here length is given as 5 cm and breadth is given as 2 cm and height is 5 cm. Now the question is asking that how many this type of cuboid we have to combine together to make a cube. This type of cube. Now let us try to solve this question. Now question number four solution. Here sides of the cuboid are 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. 5 cm, 2 cm, and 5 cm. These are the sides of the cuboid. Therefore, volume of the cuboid. The formula to find out volume of a cuboid is length into breadth into height. That means 5 cm into 2 cm into 5 cm. 5 cm into 2 cm into 5 cm. This is the volume of the cuboid. To form it as a cube. Its dimension should be in the group of triples. Therefore, the volume of the required cube is equal to 5 cm into 2 cm into 5 cm. If we want to make this 5 triple, here 1 5, here 1 5, so we need one more 5. If we want to make this 2 uh, triples, then here is 1 2, we need 2 more, so 2 into 2. So here we see that here 1 5, here 1 5, here 1 5, 5 triple. Here 1 2, here 2, here 2, so 2 is also triple. Let us simplify this. 5 cm into 2 cm into 5 cm we are writing this let us multiply 5 into 2 into 2 5 into 2 is 10, 10 into 2 is 20 so we are getting 20 this is equal to let us write this 20 into 5 cm into 2 cm into 5 cm is here and this is volume of the cuboid volume of a cuboid From this we know that if we combine together this type of cube uh, 20 numbers then it will form a cube. Thus the require the require number of cuboids is equal to 20. So we need 20 cuboids to form a cube. So this is the answer. I hope that you can understand this. See, see, Yarniko. Okay, then for today, let's stop here. All of you, thank you.